the time of this recording, that is last night, there was a story that came out talking about the Nintendo Switch having a 720p multi-touch touchscreen, stating a report from IGN. The Nintendo Switch will have a screen that is 6.2 inches in size, 720p in resolution, and for the first time on a Nintendo console, will feature a capacitive multi-touch input. These are from Eurogamer sources, who previously revealed the nature of the Switch and were correct on a lot of the things that they stated. Previously, Nintendo touchscreens have always been single touch resistive touchscreens, but this would bring the Switch more in line with modern tablets and phones, as the article states. So apparently, what they're saying is that this would potentially fragment the games that could be played on the move for those who played using its Switch as a TV dock. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure what they're alluding on here, really. You can read the full article in depth, but basically, this is kind of important because what they're saying is that there's a touch screen on it, and essentially, as I stated before, talking about other things with the Nintendo Switch, you could essentially use it as some type of Android tablet replacement, or if Nintendo felt the need to allow for Android games to be converted and played on the Nintendo Switch, it essentially could be because of the touchscreen. Uh, one of the biggest things that I'd like to point out, though, is that you will have to use the touchscreen features on certain games and not be able to use it in a docked mode, if that being the case. So, for example, the tablet itself is also the screen, hence, you can't use it as a dock if you need to use the touchscreen, because the front of the dock covers up the touchscreen, and if there's no other way to hook it up to the TV, then you're kind of screwed on playing those games on your giant TV. But you probably wouldn't want to play kind of Android-based cell phone games on your giant TV. I don't think anyone's hyped for playing Mario Run on a 65-inch 4K TV. So the 720p display has quite a few people upset. And if you don't know anything about resolution, 4K is all the rage now. But again, I am still sticking with 1920 by 1080 until we get some devices and some content that's actually pushing it out. In the next few years, I'm sure we're going to see the push from Blu-rays to actual 4K uh, Blu-rays, and then DVDs will be all but phased out, and, well, this cycle continues, similar to what happened with VHS to Blu-ray. So, the question remains, is the subpar screen going to be a problem, because you're going to have the game dock quite a bit at home, playing it, and then when you're on the go, you're probably going to be looking at a much smaller screen anyway, so would resolution truly be a problem on that small screen? I know a lot of people sit here and say, oh, well, it's not that good looking, but having a lower resolution and a smaller screen means better battery life. The bigger the screen, the more light and the more, you know, horsepower you have to use every single second just to play your game, just to have the screen on. So this is somewhat of a good news, bad news situation. I don't think it's too terrible, but at the same time, again, I think this news is very odd and, and contrasting into what Nintendo wants to do, because why would you have a capacitive touch screen if you're just going to dock the console either half the time, most of the time, you know, and that's the way they want you to play it. They want you to be able to take it on the go, play it and do whatever, but you have the Joy-Cons with you also, so why would you be touching the screen? I don't know, it feels like kind of a Swiss army knife of consoles bri bridging the, you know, mobile... I just, I just knocked over a bottle, guys. R rest in peace bottle. It, anyways, it bridges the gap between 3DS and home console, and you still have those touch features, but you're you're not sure, you know, how that's going to work, because you're not going to be able to play the games that demand the touch features. Again, referencing Paper Mario Color Splash, guess what? You can't play the game without the Wii U pad. So I wanted to play with my Pro Controller. I couldn't do that because I need the Wii U pad for the mechanics of the game. The same thing is going to happen with certain games on here, and I can understand where that's going to be extremely frustrating. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about this news? Do you think this is good news? Bad news? Do you think this spells the end for Nintendo again? Or do you just personally not care and just want to see the console? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. And I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, and God bless.